Today has not been a great day, but you know what? Sometimes you just don't have great days. <laughs> It is way later since I took that montage clip. That was like 9 in the morning and it is now 11 at night. Today has not been a great day, but you know what? Sometimes you just don't have great days. Shark Week came yesterday and today is day two of it and day two is always the worst experience ever and it feels like I am getting stabbed a million times in my stomach. I'm way better now. It was this whole day today, like the whole morning, afternoon. I think right after I ate dinner is when I started feeling better. I also didn't really eat all that much today besides the breakfast and then the dinner. I am either ravenously hungry when it's shark week or um, I don't wanna eat anything because I think I'll vomit. You obviously don't wanna hear me talk about my period, but like it's, like the worst thing ever. All I did today was sit on the couch or in the bed, either asleep or just sitting on the couch, not doing anything. And I very rarely do that. I'm a very um, hands-on, need to do things person. So I will tell you though, I read three books today or I finished three books today. So there was a, a plus for me sitting on the couch for that long. I ended up finishing Beauty in Summer by Ella Good, giving that one two stars. It was really bad. Um, if you wanna know the summary for that one, go <laughs> watch the end of yesterday's reading vlog um, because uh, I don't wanna explain it again because it just was horrible. None of the things really got explained and it was really insta-lovey and short and very underdeveloped and characters very underdeveloped as well. So um, didn't enjoy that one. I also read the Ruby Dixon one, which is Beauty in Autumn. And this one is definitely the best out of all of them. I'm only giving this one like three, 3.5 stars, but it was the best out of all of them. I'm not going to read the fourth one though, because Alexa Riley's stuff isn't on Amazon, I don't think. I think all of her books got banned or something. Anyway, I couldn't find Beauty in Winter. So, Beauty in Autumn is Beauty and the Beast Italian, like all the other ones. So in this land that this woman lives in, there is a prince, or a person who used to be a prince, he is now a beast who lives in his castle. And every single autumn um, in this land, um, each village volunteers a girl to be um, possibly picked to be the bride to the beast for that winter or Autumn, sorry, Autumn. And then one girl is picked out of all those girls and she goes to the palace to try and break the curse to have the beast fall in love with them or something, whatever, it'll break the curse. This season, 
our heroine gets picked and before she's picked she's been having dreams about this beast and wanting to see his face and know what the beast looks like and figure out why he's called the beast. She ends up getting picked as the woman to go to the castle and the witch who lives in the land tells her that the only way that she can break this curse is if she wears a blindfold for three days while she's there and she does not see anything. She doesn't see the beast, she doesn't see the castle that he lives in, she sees nothing. If she keeps her blindfold on for three days and resists the temptation of seeing what he looks like, the spell will be broken or something like that, which is a very weird, different curse breaking technique, I guess. And so it is about that romance. It is the most developed out of all of the ones that I've read. Um, the characters are more developed. Even like if this book would have been so flipping amazing if it was not a novella, if it was a full blown book and we got her whole journey in living in this palace and it was more than just three days, like this book would be awesome. But um, it was a novella and very short. And then I ended up reading Santa Baby. I want a bad boy for Christmas by Justine Elvira. I think I'm gonna give this one two stars. Um, it's just a short Christmas novella about a girl who just recently got dumped and um, can't go see her family on Christmas because it's expensive to fly across the country to go see her family. So she's gonna be alone for Christmas. And then when she's at the mall with Santa, she sits on Santa's lap and asks him for a bad boy for Christmas. And um, Santa may or may not provide. <laughs> really steamy, just not really developed, very insta-lovey. I don't know, probably skip this Christmas romance. And so then I started a fun one that I hopefully will be fun. It sounds fun. It's called Blitzen's Faded Mate by R.E. Butler. <laughs> so basically I'm only like 10% of the way into it. But all these are, this is a novella also. Um, so this one I got for free. This is free currently, you can go download it. There are people who can shift into Arctic creatures. So our hero can shift into a polar bear, an Arctic fox. Uh, something else and a reindeer and so he gets picked to be the role of Blitzen in Santa's sleigh because uh, he lives in the North Pole and apparently I haven't gone to this part yet but apparently uh, according to the summary he like like gets loose or like his what's it called like the saddle or whatever the straps holding him into the sleigh um, to get presents to kids on Christmas ends up falling off and he ends up crash landing on earth and our heroine sees him, this reindeer, just fall to the ground <laughs> out of the sky and sees him shift it to a man. So it sounds really funny. Hopefully it's actually good, like a good funny, and I'll really enjoy it. But I also wanted to let y'all know I downloaded a bunch of Christmas novellas recently, and I thought I'd share with you what those are. So we do have the Blitzen, Blitzen's Faded Mate and then I also downloaded today, the cover looks really cool. It's called A Winter Wonderland, a holiday romance novella by Rebecca Hunter. The cover really intrigued me. I think this is a second chance romance, like they used to date and one of them's back in town or something like that. And then I found Love and Christmas by Cindy Faria, Faria. This is a friends to lovers romance, Christmas related. Um, and then I also found Christmas with You, which is a sweet fake relationship military romance. The, the covers for this, I have all three books in this series. Um, these are all free when I downloaded them, by the way. I don't know if they're still currently free, um, but you can go check them out. And for this series, I've gotten book one, two, and three for free. Um, this one's book three a part of the San Diego Marines series. And then I also found Yours for Christmas, which is an accidental pregnancy romance. The cover just looked really good. Like this is a great cover, I think. And then I think I saw Brie talk about this in one of her recent videos. I don't know, I'm currently watching her videos. I like binge people's videos. And she talked about Dirty Santa by Daphne Loveling. I think I already had this one downloaded, but I just saw her talk about it. This is a holiday motorcycle club romance and I think she was enjoying it. Um, I haven't finished that video yet because it's like an hour, 30 minutes long, I think of her. <laughs> Lastly, the last one I wanna talk to y'all about is 12 Days of Christmas in a Highlander's Arms, which is a short story collection filled with medieval historical romances. Those are some Christmas books that I've downloaded recently, all of them for free. So you can go check them out, see if they're free. I don't really know the summaries for most of them. Tomorrow I am uploading my uh, dedicated reading vlog for my TBR jar pick for the month of November, which was The Last Viking by Sandra Hill. I ended up doing a dedicated reading vlog for it. It'll be posted tomorrow, which will be in place of my daily 
vlogmas videos so i'm just going to be combining days four and five together and posting it on the same day because i don't want to post two videos in one day if that makes sense and i still want to get out this reading vlog to you guys um it's mostly spoiler free there's maybe like minor minor spoilers here and there but it's the majority spoiler free so you can check that video out tomorrow whenever it comes out i also made progress on and i'm almost done with everything related to my secret santa for tomorrow i'm going to drive hopefully i can drive my mom's car to my college town tomorrow get a couple things there and go to the store there do some errands there and drop off my secret santa package yeah i'm really excited for this person to see the secret santa uh, um i also got my secret santa boxing um but i think we're all opening it on the same day or posting a video for it on the same day i'm just gonna unbox it on the day um for my vlogmas video whenever i'm, I'm trying to explain this <laughs> i'm going to unbox my secret santa gift the day that everyone else is posting their unboxing videos so there are some people that are unboxing it currently on film or video or whatever and then they're not going to be posting that video until the day that everyone's uploading their unboxing video whereas i'm just going to unbox it on a vlogmas day um so i have to wait but i can't wait to unbox it i'm going to end the vlog here sorry for it being very very short but i was honestly just in pain most of the day because my periods are very 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 severe be harmful so please let me know down below if you have read any of the books i talked about today the christmas novellas go check out any of those christmas novellas go see if they're free but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all tomorrow for my new video bye guys mm -hmm.